Hey guys, uh, Buffalo Gamer 77 here, and I wanted to show you my most recent pickups uh, I got and received, acquired in the, in the during the last month or so. Uh, first things I got about a month ago, I had a friend of mine that traveled to the UK, and so I had pre-ordered I pre-ordered uh, these two games and had them shipped to his house, and I got Alpha Sapphire, and it came with Kyogre, a little figurine here. And also I bought Omega Ruby, and it came with a Groudon figurine here. These items are real cool. I'm disappointed that they didn't come to the United States. It seems like Europe and Japan get better things than we do here from Nintendo. It's just very disappointing, and hopefully maybe in the future things will change. I doubt it, but uh, these games are really cool. And I'm going to keep them closed in the box here. A closer look of the, the figurines in the package here. Cool. Next item I bought from a guy I work with. Uh, he was selling some things and uh, I picked it up. I think I paid around $40 for it for all three items. Uh, let's see, you got a Game Boy Micro. It didn't come with a charger, but I already have a Game Boy Micro and it has a box and a charger in it together. So this is the one I'm going to play with. Uh, so I'll use that charger, it's not, not a big deal. And also included uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2 for, the, for 3DS. And Kid Icarus Uprising for 3DS, uh, which is a pretty good game. I haven't played much of it yet, but uh, it seems to be pretty, pretty good. I'm not sure if you guys uh, played it or not. If you did, comment below, tell me how you like it. Let's see, next two games are basically the same game, but One's for Game Boy, which is Contra the Alien Wars, and Contra Advanced Alien Wars EX, I believe, EX, yep, EX. And uh, basically it's the same game, except one's in color, and one's uh, the Game Boy game. Uh, the Game Boy Advance game has a little damage to the sticker on it, because uh, the game store I went to had a price tag over the, over this area, which I hate when stores do that. You know, it's, I try to take it out very carefully, and it did not work. Uh, but uh, the one for a Game Boy is in very, very good condition. Let's see, the next item I bought is a copy of Drill Dozer. This game, I believe, was around uh, $9 or so. This game is real cool. I'm not sure if you've, if you've seen it or not. Uh, but basically, you're, you're a, a, bunny named, a bunny named Jill, and uh, you're in this area where you have to drill to get different sections of the game. And uh, it's really cool, and it also vibrates. This game is a little bigger than the uh, normal Game Boy Advance game. As you see, the difference is a little bit different there. And the difference is this game has a thing built in here where it vibrates. Uh, so when you go through to play the game, uh, it vibrates a little bit. It's real cool. If you don't, if you haven't heard of it yet, I look, I check out a video for it on YouTube and pick it up if you can. Next item I received for free from a friend of mine, uh, R.I. Pieces 88. Yeah, he uh, was trading things and things into a game store. And I was with him, and they offered him, I think, $10 to $12 for, for, for Zelda Adventure of Link 2, or Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. And uh, he decided $12 is not worth it. He better just give it to me. And I'm very, very appreciative of that. Uh, so I have uh, now I have uh, both gold cards for the NES. I have the Zelda, the original one, and now I have Adventure of Link. So very, very appreciative. Thank you. Next two items I, I received from GameStop when they had the Halo, you know, when they announced the Halo 5 pre-orders, and I went to GameStop one day, and one of the employees told me that if I came on, I think, I think it was a Saturday, uh, that they were giving out for free, and I didn't have to pre-order the game at all. And so I went there, and I tried to pick both of them up, which uh, they didn't allow me to, and almost forced me to pre-order the game, uh, but I showed them the fine print, and I picked up. Uh, these are analog stick covers for your controller, for Xbox One. Here's the back of it, and here's the grips up here. Went to a few Game Stops, and I got uh, two of these. I have one still in the package here, and I have the other one on my uh, Xbox One controller. And also came with a, went to a different Game Stop, and I tried it again. And same story, they tr tried to force me to pre-order the game. I showed them the fine print again, and I uh, got this... Uh, controller cover for your Xbox One controller. It's really cool. I saw one of them on, the, on, a, on a controller. It looked real good. 
but uh, I didn't want to take it off, off, off the plastic here, and uh, so I kept it on there. I'm not sure it's worth anything or not, but uh, they're real cool to have. I'm a Halo fan, so I'm going to add this to my collection. Here's, here's again, maybe a closer view, hopefully. And the last few items I, I've acquired and purchased recently, within the last week or so, and I was very excited to get this uh, little Mac Amiibo. I'm not, I'm not really an Amiibo collector, uh, but little Mac's really cool. Uh, it was in a box, I, I took it out of the box and then I played with it on my, on my Wii U. And uh, it's really, really cool. And it was $13. I think it's high, high in price and high in price if you want to buy it online, uh, which doesn't make sense. Uh, but they're really cool. And I picked up uh, Sheik. That's about it. So hopefully in the near future I'll, I'll buy some more games and uh, do an update of my recent pickups. Uh, this is what I received, acquired in the last month or so since the last videos in December, May month and a half. Uh, please like, like, subscribe to my channel. I'll have more videos posted shortly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.